Now see the indefinite integration of E indefinite integration of u by v rule. So integration of u into v dx is equal to. So if I take u as a first term and v as second one, then u will be outside and integration of v dx minus integration of differentiation of du by dx, right? Integration of v dx into whole dx. So this is the formula of product rule, right? So how, how you define first and second? So for that, I will use I LIA T rule. L for logarithmic, logarithmic function, logarithmic function, right? And I for inverse function. I for inverse function. A for algebra. And T for trigonometric function. Right. And E for exponential function. So based on this formula, we will solve one numerical C. First example is integration of x dx, x cos of dx, right? So apply LIAT rule. So you can consider here this is your algebra, right? So I will consider it as a first and this will be the second, right? So apply the formula now. So x will be outside integration of cos dx minus integration of then di differentiate dx by dx integration of cos of x into dx into whole dx right so next step will be x integration of cos is sine so it is sine of x minus dx by dx is 1 so it is integration of integration of cos will become sine of x into dx right so answer will be x sine of x integration of sine is minus of cos x right so answer is x sine of x plus cos of x. Understood? Plus c. So this is the integration value. Have you understood? Yes. Okay. Now solve the second one. Follow the same rule. Now look at the question number fourth one. Right. So it is integration of x square sine of 2x dx, right? So see, how will solve? I will apply here LIATS rule, LIAT rule. So algebra will be the first and trigonometry will be the second one, right? So see here, so x square will be outside integration of sine of 2x dx, right? Minus integration, differentiation of x square upon dx, right? Then integration of sine of 2x into dx. Then whole dx. Have you understood this step? Yes, sir. Okay. Now see here. This will be x square. And sine integration is nothing but it is minus cos of 2x. Right? And in integration, we divide the coefficient by that coefficient. Right? So coefficient here it is 2. Understood this part? How I have divided to? Yes, sir. Minus integration. So what is the differentiation of x square? It is 2x, right? Minus. And this part just now we have integrated that will be minus cos of 2x upon 2. So this 2 and 2 will get cancelled and hold dx. Understood? So now arrange. So it will be minus 1 upon 2 x square cos of 2x minus and this minus minus will become plus. So integration of x cos of 2x dx. Have you understood up to this point? Yes, sir. Now see, now we have to apply here integration in the second part again, right? So it will be minus 1 upon 2 x square cos of 2x minus Again, it will be first and this will be the second according to the law, this loop, law. 
सो टेक एक्स एज ए कॉमन सो एक्स इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस ऑफ टू एक्स डी एक्स माइनस इंटीग्रेशन डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ एक्स बाय डी एक्स इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस ऑफ टू एक्स इंटू डी एक्स इंटू होल डी एक्स है यू अंडरस्टूड अप टू दिस ओके दिस विल बी कैली कैरी फॉरवर्ड सो दिस इज एक्स कॉस इंटीग्रेशन इज नथिंग बट इट इज साइन ऑफ टू एक्स बाय टू माइनस एंड दिस विल बी वन सो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एंड दिस विल बिकम कॉस विल बी साइन सो इट इज साइन ऑफ टू एक्स अपॉन टू इंटू डी एक्स अगेन इंटीग्रेट इट राइट सो सी ऑन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड carry forward this part so this will be carry forwarded right this whole part and integration of this will be minus of cos 2x by 2 <coughs> this will be minus cos of 2x by 2 and there 2 already is there right and minus is already there so this will become this part uh, have you understood and this will be minus minus plus so it is cos of 2x upon 4 and write the other part here right so that is minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 2 x square cos of 2x cos of 2x right and this is x sin 2x by 2 this is x sin of 2x upon 2 so this is the whole integration have you understood now Yes, sir. Okay, right. Asking the next sum. Next sum is fifth one. So it is integration of cos of root of x into dx. So what I will do? I will multiply root x and divide by root x, and this will be cos of root x into dx. So let's see here. Put root x as t. and differentiate it then you will get 1 upon 2 root of x into dx is equal to dt have you understood this part yes sir okay now see here so in question it is dx by root of x is equal to dt and take this 2 here it will be 2 now put in the integration so it is this will be what this will be 2 dt right and this will be t and this will be also t so your question reduced to t into cos of t into 2 dt right take 2 outside then it will be 2 integration of t cos of t into dt now apply the lia t rules lia t rules so t is your algebra so this will be the first and this is the trigonometric so it will be the second right now start solving by applying u into v rule right so integration of u into v rule is take u as a constant and integration of v dx minus integration of differentiation of du by dx then integration of v into dx then whole dx right so your u is here t and v is your cos of t so this is 2 and t is outside integration of cos of t into dt minus integration of differentiation of dt upon dt integration of cos of t into dt into whole dt understood are you getting up to this point yes sir so it is 2 of t so cos integration is what it is sin of t minus and this will become 1 so remaining is integration and this part is sin of t sin of t into dt right so your answer is 2t sin of t minus so cos integration is sin integration is minus of cos t so it is cos of t plus c so answer is 
t sin of t plus cos of t plus c. Understood? So now put the value of t. So i you have got is 2 of t. This whole of 2, right? So this will also become 2. So 2 sine of t plus cos of t plus of c. So now put the value of t. t is nothing but it is root of x. So i is in i equal to 2 integration of root of x sine of root of x plus cos of root of x plus of c. Understood? So this is the final answer.